In this tutorial, you will learn how to draw different shapes using the Shape tool in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, go to the toolbar located towards the left side of the window. Click the Shape tool icon and hold it for a while. By doing so, you will get a list of options with different shapes to select from. Let's start by using the Rectangle tool first. Pick up the tool by clicking on it and draw it on the canvas by holding and dragging your cursor on the canvas like so. So here's a basic rectangular shape. Now let's make a simple envelope using this shape only. For that, we need a triangular shape. So let's pick up the Polygon tool from the list and double click on the board. This will open up the Properties dialog box from where we can configure how the shape will be drawn. Over here we will reduce the number of sides to 3 and press OK. With that done, you can see that a triangle has been drawn on the canvas. Now let's align the triangle on top of the rectangle like so. You can alter any shape using the Direct Selection tool. Pick up the Direct Selection tool from the toolbar, select the bottom anchor points of the triangle, and drag them to align with the sides of the rectangle. With that done, select the center point of the triangle and drag it downwards to the center of the rectangle. And here you go, a basic envelope made by drawing and altering two basic shapes. Next, select the Ellipse tool and drag the cursor on the artboard. To draw a perfect circle, press the Shift key while drawing the shape. Now let's alter the shape. For that, pick up the Direct Selection tool once more and click on the top anchor point over here. Now you can move the anchor point in any direction and play around with the shape. For example, let's make the shape of a drop here. For that, notice here that there are two handles with the anchor point here. Drag the handles towards the anchor point and notice that the curve on both the lines connecting to the anchor point has been removed and instead are now straight lines pointing towards the anchor point. Now drag the anchor point upwards and the result would be an object in the shape of a drop. To give the object more detail here, let's fill the shape with a radial gradient and reduce the opacity to 80%. Another option over here is the star tool. Let's select the star tool from the list and draw it on the artboard like we did with the previous shapes. So here's a basic start shape. You can also change the property of this object according to your requirements. For example, let's change the number of points of the star. With the star tool selected, double click on the artboard and the property dialog box will open up. Over here, let's increase the points to 16 and hit OK. And there you have it, a custom shape made from the star tool. The last option here is the flare tool. Let's select the flare tool from the list and draw it on the artboard. You can keep any size for the flare and place it anywhere on the canvas. To see how it's implemented, let's position it on this shape over here. Now let's change the color of the shape, and there you go. A sort of a special effect given to a basic shape over here. And that's basically how you can draw and alter basic shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.